Okay, here's it's an like interesting question energy. for you guys. Only because I've been in this position, and I know there's a lot of people who've been in this position. How long do you think you could last on a long distance relationship? A week. You are asking the king of long distance. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> literally, you know God, my no. longest relationship was literally five fucking years. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, I know Malcolm's a trooper. <laughs> I mean, I could, I mean, I could last that long, but usually for me, it's like, like, because I could go, like, as long as, like, you know, the topics are interesting and we still like each other, well, like, I could go for as long as possible until, you know, we finally meet. No, no I'm, I'm opposite-minded to that. I'm more of, like, a practicality and convenience sort of thing. Yeah. If she's not near me, I don't see it working out. I'm very, um... I need to be able to like see you and meet with you and like just hang out with you and that's why i really tried not to involve myself with anyone outside of like my neighborhood or community or like my town because like for me i generally could care less maybe just due to the fact that i'm very much more of an emotional person than a physical person so as long as we are emotionally connect connected i don't care how far you are like obviously i'm both like you guys know of i'm not saying their name here of certain people that i am fond of yeah indeed indeed like literally if that ever actually became a thing um i wouldn't care it's more of an emotional thing than a physical thing at all mm -hmm. I, was, no, I get that See, I'm, I'm a little bit of both. It's like, I can maintain a long-distance relationship, but I'm in the same boat as Paul's. Like, I can maintain a long-distance relationship, but I, I have to be able to, like, to, like, physically see you and be with you. And, like, do things. Yeah, because there's always so much you can do when you're doing long-distance. Oh, yeah. So no. as long as you're both kind of, like, very much aware and are okay with it, then, yeah, usually it's not a problem. But there's only so many fucking date nights, quote unquote, you can do in terms of like watching anime or playing video games. See, but I feel like that's why, like, now with technology, I kind of like it because now, like, it paves the way to, like, maintain long distance ship a lot better. Because now, like, you can watch movies together online. You can, like, like if you guys have, like, the same, like, food <laughs> spot, you guys could totally do, like, a DoorDash dinner, like, ordering from the same spot. And just eat together while watching a movie or a TV show. So it's like, it makes it a lot more manageable. I feel like. Yeah, or you could also kind of just go overboard, and I would say, and I say overboard in like the lightest sense. Um, you could go overboard and just do. Um, if you have both have VR sets, you guys can literally go on a fucking date in VR. Yeah, exactly. That is true. 